Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Locomotive. Now, first before we continue, I want to apologize for the first Locomotive video's audio quality. Apparently my last Windows and or NVIDIA drivers update somehow changed and messed up my audio settings and my own voice could only be heard from the left side. And I did not notice that at all during the editing, but was later informed on the video's comment section. Luckily I learned about a workaround to that problem thanks to one of my most active viewers, Morges. So the last Lisa Sud Larry video's audio turned out uh, fine by using that workaround. So thanks again for your help, Morges. And thanks for all the other suggestions you provided to solve this problem. Apparently all I needed to do was to perform a Windows diagnostic check on my microphone. Windows found a problem and fixed it. So now you should hear my voice normally from all sides. But now, back to this game. So in the last episode a murder happened. Double murder actually. Because our employer, Lady Underworld, and the famous detective Herman Merman were murdered. And it's up to us to solve this case. And we believe that the murderer was left out from Lady Underworld's will. So that's why the murderer killed her before she could announce her new will. Which also happens to be hanging uh, on the window frame over here. But we need something to reach it. So, without further ado, let's try to find that item so we can get this will. So I did try this... Twisted metal hanger, but that that's not that's not it. I need something with more reach. Okay, so let's go and look around. And I believe that we also need to get drunk so we can talk to one of the passengers who happens to be drunk. I have talked to everyone already in the last episode, before and after the murder. Hmm. Let's see. Do I have any strongly perfumed love note? Can I read it? Well, if, if I can, I don't know how. Uh, but what did we need for the drink? Hello. What will it be? So, I'll have a glass of red. Well, I guess we, I guess we can ask for that. Glass of red. I assume that it's wine. I hope this suit isn't, isn't a rental. <laughs> okay, so now we got... Glass of red wine, okay. So, but what were, the, what were the ingredients that we need for the special drink? A rosebud. Are you sure you can't make me a rosebud? I'm afraid we are all out. What if I get you the ingredients? Can you make it then? I might be able to whip something similar up. Yeah, okay, but what what were the what are the ingredients? I forgot. Well, okay. I guess we I guess we just have to well, I I guess I can recognize them once once we see them because we need to talk to this Mr. Masson here, but he's drunk and we need to get drunk in order to talk to him. That seems to be the logic here. Can I Oh, can I give this to him? I don't want to make him any more in inebriated. Inebriated? That's a new word. Assuming that is assuming that is a real word. And we can't get to Lady Underworld's uh, cabin either because this train car is here. We have to get rid of him somehow. Uh, would you would you want a oh would you want a glass of wine? He wouldn't like that. Hmm. Would he perhaps like a love letter? That was that is not. Uh, address addressed to him, but we we could tell him that it's addressed to him. Looks like you have a secret admirer. Wow. This is um explicit, I know. And the perfume, it's so awful, alluring. Wait for me in room four C. What's this post for me while I'm gone? Of course. Yes, of course. And don't go in there, Mr. Ackerman. Wouldn't dream of it. Eh. With the guard gone, I can see if there's any evidence in Lady Underworld's uh, quarters. Okay. Sucker, let's go in. It's hard to see her like this. 
one moment you are running an you are running an em running an empire, the next you are rolled up in an ugly rug. Like a sad hot dog. Hm. What kind of empire she was running, I wonder. Aha, Lady Underworld's walking cane. This cane could could come in handy. Hope you don't mind, Lady Underworld. She would probably be fine with it. Yeah, I think so too. Especially considering the circumstances. Anything else here? Loose pedals. Oh yeah, I believe that some pedals were needed for the drink, so let's take some pedals. Multiple retirement gifts for Lady Underworld. Retirement gift for Lady Underworld. Lady Underworld's hat. Half empty half empty briefcase. A Monstera plant. Retirement gift. The late Lady Underworld. Okay, does it look like there's anything else that interests us? Or, or anything else that we can pick up? Okay, we are done with that. So... Do we need to give this to him? Uh, the, bar the barman for the drink? But then again, he can always make more himself. You, wa you wanted these pedals at least, right? Would these pedals do? Hmm. I can work with that. Now I can't legally give you the real deal if you are any if you are anywhere under 200 LPS. What was that again? Your liver would give in. So what can you give me? I'll make you a rosebud light. Okay. It has all of the flavor of the rosebud. But you'll still be able to you know from sen form sentences precisely hmm okay so it makes us makes us drunk but not too drunk we can still actually talk properly it's delicious i might be able to make and uh, make it make it stronger with some experimentation and something to mix it all up okay something stronger and something to mix it all up can i put some of this in there i can't use those together okay i guess wine is not strong enough can i can i buy some more drinks from you something strong never mind never mind oh well let's go back to our cabin and finally get that wheel by using the cane okay so, let's use the cane. I should be able to reach the wheel with this. But I'll need some way to hook in to hook onto it. Hmm, yeah. I was actually wondering that too. So, let's combine these. I've loosely attached the wire to the stick to create a hook. But I'll need something else to secure it in place. Okay, so we need something else. Wobbly hooked walking cane. So what could we need here? Glue? Duct tape? Jesus tape? Steaming hot, hot cup of coffee. Room 4 C key. What room is this? I think it's for this room. It, it just doesn't say... I can't see any numbers or letters anywhere on any of these rooms. It's locked. Okay, and this key is not for that. I can't use that. Okay. What about our, in our room? I guess there's nothing new here. Or, or, or anything that I have missed. Okay, let's leave. And I can't go here, can I? Nothing but sleeper carriages down there. And besides, there's a killer on the loose. Okay. So we need something to secure this hook on the cane better. Hmm. A bit annoying how he how he stops when I check my inventory. 
Now, is there anything interesting interesting on any of these people's tables? Maybe they have something something that I need. Okay, so so let's think about this. So I so I need something stronger for this drink. So uh, so strong so strong alcohol, I take it. And was there something else? Was there something else? Because if there was another thing that we needed for this, then I forgot about it. And then we need something to secure. And then we need something to secure the hook on this cane. Anything new with you? Hello, waiter. Good evening, sir. Okay, nothing new. Nothing new with you. Good boy. Can I talk to her? There's a murderer on the loose. What? No, no servers in the caboose? I'm going to leave now. Anything on the tables or couches here? No, and I can't talk to you. Her Herman mentioned you stumbling around in the halls earlier. Did you see something? Whoa! <laughs> Uh, out with it, man. What do you know? Yeah, <laughs> oh, <shum. laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to try and play trun uh, Trunkard. I'm too sober for this conversation. I might need to get on his level. Hmm. Who could uh, who could use steaming hot a steaming hot cup of coffee? I, I mean, everyone seems to be fully awake, so it's not like so it's not like anyone needs a cup of coffee for that to stay awake. And I can't and I can't uh, take closer inspection on any, on anything with the eye uh, icon. Hmm. Can I use the Can I use the cane for anything else? Maybe. Glass of red wine. What about you, Doctor Hirsch? Hello. Mm, nothing. Okay. What about you, twins? Hi there. I was her favorite. No, I was her favorite. Oh, not this again. Hmm, okay. So they're not going to be any help. Hmm, grilled beef with vegetables. Sounds good. Hmm. What, uh, what was this again? Metal corking device. Metal corking device. I don't know. Do you want some wine? She wouldn't like that. How do you know? Maybe she's an abs absolutist. Maybe. Um, well, let's talk to her. How can I help you, Arthur? Suzanne, tell tell me what tell me what to do. Maybe she gives us a hint. Did you find a container to mix those drinks in? Someone on board might have what you need. Thanks. Okay, so she is giving us actual tips. Okay, nice. Someone here might have what we need. How about you, Sleazeball? Beat it, kid. You are killing my vibe. Okay, he's not in the mood to talk. Uh, what was it, Mr. Bergman? Ah, oh, Arthur. Can you believe it? What a messy state of affairs we all find ourselves in. My feelings? Exactly. Okay, nothing new. Goodbye. And Di Diana Osterhagen. Hello again. 
Hmm. Yeah, nothing new. Uh, can we ask her something else? Just testing here, folks. How can I help you, Arthur? Tell me what to do. Did you find a, con a container to mix the strings in? Okay, so she's not telling us anything uh, else. That's the only hint that we are gonna get out of her. That's fine. That's just fine. Someone... Hmm... I was thinking that maybe it's this horn thingy that it, this deaf woman is using, but... Hearing horn, yes. Okay, apparently it is an item that I can pick up. Is that a, is that a thing that we can use to mix drinks in? Yoink. This would probably make an amazing goblet. If there was, if there was some way to seal it. And if it wasn't so gross. I heard that. Oh, so you can still hear us. Why are you so eager to ruin an old lady's fun? Oh, she's not deaf. Is this about the horn? What? I'm going to leave now. Okay, maybe she is actually deaf. I don't know. Okay, slightly used ear horn. Lovely. Can we... Can we seal it with this? Yes, we can. The horn is horn is now sealed. Okay, so we can mix the drinks in there. That's a start. But I need a few more ingredients. What are those? A uh, glass of wine? Okay, maybe that's the alcohol part. I think I need one more ingredient. Okay, what was it? Uh, it's not the coffee, is it? Or apparently it is. That's it. Nice. Okay, here goes nothing. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Oh, really? Are you... Ten minutes later. I think he passed out. Oh, thanks, Shwai. You're my best friend. Yes, Arthur. We are all very pleased that you are finally having a good time. But I can't understand a word you are saying. None of us can. Except for one. Uh-oh. I must be drunk. At least he can walk just fine. Okay, so let's go back and now talk to... What was his name? Mr. Masson. Mason? Masson? Mwah! My good man. Are you enjoying my signature drink? You are finally uh, sobered up. <laughs> of course not. We are just the same uh, amount of drunk. Oh. I guess that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Sort of. Herman Merman said he saw you earlier in the evening. Who came up with this ro rosebud stuff? Well, let's ask that first. Who came up? Who came up with this rosebud sh stuff any anyhow? The French. Oh, so the French invented it. Okay. Thank thanks, French. French people. Herman Merman said he saw you earlier in the evening. Not long before he lost his keys. <laughs> Most definitely. I wasn't well aware of that detective. Detective? Crashing and bashing about his quarters last night. Okay, tell me about the crashing and bashing. Tell me about the crashing and bashing you heard. Oh, it was awful. 
drove me to drink and despair. It did. Well, I was already drinking. Of course you were. Waha! I got m my revenge though. Drop these in the hallway. Took them when he wasn't looking. The keys. Yeah. Herman's room keys. Here, take them, lad. And make sure you crack the case. Yeah, that's the plan. You might want to sober up first, though. Oh, great. Now, now we have to sober up. Okay, so now we need to sober up. Might take it. So what do we what do we drink? Or what do we take? Coffee? Let's see. Wash up. What will what will it be? Strong coffee, please. Looks like you need a really strong coffee. Yes we do. And then we sober up. If it only was that simple in real life. Ouch, my head is killing me. I hope I didn't embarrass myself. Not too badly. Okay, so now we got Herman Herman's missing keys. So let's go and open his cabin. It was over here. This door. I can't use that. Now what do you mean you can't... Uh, wait, what do you mean you can't use that? Whose room is this? Ah, oh, we just click on the door like that. Okay. To Herman's quarters. Wow, this place has been trashed. Someone must have been looking for something. Oh, Herman Merman just had one hell of a time in here. Recently smashed mirror. Punched pillow. Knocked over lamp. Discarded cushion. Herman Merman and the uh, Murmur in German, one of his books. Herman Merman and the Uncertain Surgeon. Herman Merman and the Sermon of Vermin. Mm, torn window blind. Is there anything that we can actually pick up? Does it look like it, folks? But there must be something that we can do here. So we got the keys, we still got the fully corked horn, and wobbly hooked walking cane. Ah, briefcase. It's a locked briefcase. Yeah, but it, it was un under the couch. Oh, so that went in there. That's a snug fit. Maybe I can find someone or something to break it open. Hmm, okay. Herman's locked briefcase. Hmm. Can I, I don't know, use the hanger here to maybe uh, lockpick it? I can use those together. Okay, fine. I guess, I guess that's the only thing, only thing that, that we need from here. Okay. Hmm? The music stop. The music stop there. Okay, that's weird. Not sure if that's supposed to happen. I don't think so. But uh Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the game briefly and restart it and hopefully the music restarts as well. So be right back. No, it's still quiet. It's still quiet for some reason. Well, at least we can hear the sound of the train, so that's something. Let's just go with that, I suppose. Hmm? The sleaze ball is gone. Grilled beef with vegetables. Okay, where is the sleaze ball? Is he in his own cabin? Over here. Or quarters. 
left all the, all, left of the uh, food and nothing new here. So he's not here. The sleaze ball that is. Maybe he's in the other cart. Everyone else are still in their still in their own places. Where is the sleaze ball? He didn't go in here, did he? Apparently not. Also, what's the deaf woman holding something? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe she always looked like that. Uh, for a moment, it, it looked like it looked like she was holding onto something. Why are you so eager to ruin an old lady's fun? Is this about the horn? What? I'm going to leave now. Okay, so I guess we should try and talk to these people again. Maybe they can help us with the briefcase. Hello. Uh, at least Dr. Hirsch is not one of them. Waiter. Nope. Maybe the sleaze ball could, but he's not here. Are you are you two still arguing? Yep, still arguing. Still arguing, all right. Master Haken. Nothing new. And uh, Bergman. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. And I can't believe that you have no... And I can't believe that you have no new dialogue options here either. Well, let's talk to Goldschmidt. How can I help you, Arthur? Well, uh, can you tell us what to do next? Ask around. I'm sure someone could help with your with your case. Yeah, that was my plan. That was my plan. I bet that we need to find sleaze ball from uh, from somewhere. We can We still can't go here, can we? No. Okay, let's check all these rooms, just in case. Okay, he's not in any of any of the rooms. Hmm, barman? Have you seen where the sleaze ball went? I guess not. We have talked to pretty much everyone, except for the drunkard here, but I, do I doubt that he's going to be any help. Have you sobered up yet? Perhaps... I'm still not on his level, and I don't think that we need to get to back to his level. Not here. Damn it, where are you? I have talked to everyone now, haven't I? Or maybe I should just uh, show this briefcase to have uh, to these people. He wouldn't like that. Uh, deaf woman. Waiter. No. How about you? No. I guess we just I guess we just show this briefcase around. Not you. How about these twins then? Say. Do either of you know, know anyone who could open this briefcase? <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I like how he takes the briefcase out of his pants. Let me try first. No, he clearly asked me. I'm the best person for the job. The second best person for the job. Well, as, well, as long as you can do it, I don't care. You won't be saying that when I open it. For crying out loud, because I would have, because I would have already opened it. It's mine. 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 Um. Well, that did it. Well, now look what you did. It wasn't me. Was too. I think my work here is done. Okay. Well, 
that works too. Oh, detective strength duct tape. Aha, there we go. Now we got the duct tape. Or Jesus tape, as we like to call it here in Finland. Because Jesus fixes everything. Okay, so, use it on the cane. This should uh, secure the hook in place. Time to bring that wheel in from the cold. And maybe even maybe even find out find out who the murderer is. Assuming that the murderer was the was the person who was left out of the wheel. Okay, it was oh it was here. In sleaze ball squatters. Nice. Where there's a will, there's a way. Wait, what? That's right. Anything's possible. Herman Merman? But we all saw you die. Did you? Or did you watch a master at work? I have the will, Herman. Uh, it'll it'll uh, reveal the murderer. Indeed. What the... That's what I'm afraid of. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's true. Ambushed in my own room. Quiet, you. Or I'll find an even smaller uh, space to duct tape you in. Yeep. As for you, Arthur, who was the one with the yellow uh, text? Shall we take this outside? Um. Oh dear. Part 3. Dispute Resolution. Oh my god, folks. folks, it was the... It was Herman Merman all along. You have been a thorn in my side since the moment we met. It will be a pleasure to kill you. No witnesses, after all. Wait. I have questions. Yeah, we do have questions. What questions? Okay. Well, I, I actually did think from the beginning that it was kind of weird that how how Lady Underworld was bleeding heavily uh, when, when she was killed, but Herman Merman was, was not bleeding at all. So that was kind of weird. But I didn't actually suspect him. I, I honestly thought that Herman Merman was killed. So why did you kill Lady Underworld? Why the need to fake your death? You trust your room? Well, why did you kill Lady Underworld? I spent years spying on her family. Reporting any and all indiscretions. If anyone so much as stepped out of line, she would know about it. Also, she could keep her wrinkled hands clean. We had a deal. It was you that she wrote out of her will. Oh yes. Lady Underworld decided she was done with me. Felt remorse for all the underhanded, <coughs> excuse me, on all, all the underhanded spying she made, written out just like that. I merely returned the favor. Okay, sorry about that cough there. So, why the need to fake your death? Well, obviously to to get him out of the su the suspect list. Lady Underworld was already dead. I was ready to switch the original with a will with a copy. Trusting that Lady Underworld's paranoia would ensure nobody has had seen the original. Losing the will made things complicated. I simply wasn't prepared for you, uh, for your incompetence. Nobody suspect a dead man. I, uh, it bought me some more time. Okay, but wait. If you, uh, but if people think that you are actually dead, how could you? Uh, how could you inherit anything from the uh, from the old will? If you are dead. Well, you. So you trust your room. You tr you trust your room to throw off throw off the scent. No, no. 
That was just me losing my temper. Oh, okay, so that wasn't important for anything. Boom. Anyway, time's up. Goodbye, Mr. Ackerman. Wait. What on earth are you doing? Oh, we took our belt. What are, what are we gonna do with that? Use it, use it like a whip? Like Indiana Jones? Prepare to buckle onto justice. I have the power of... I have the power of attorney. You betrayed the law. I think that this is a reference to the... To Judge Dredd. Okay, what, what do I want to say? Prepare to buckle onto justice. I have the power of attorney. Well, let's say this. I have the power, power of, of attorney. Oh my. <laughs> okay. That was that was great. That was great. I wonder what what that author boy is up to. I hope he took my advice about making new friends. Well, I don't know about that. Oh my. What? What's happening on the roof? Hello? Is anyone there? I have your note, my love. That's nice. But I'm very badly wounded. Oh wait, it's, uh, it's a sleaze ball. That's who was talking earlier. Why do you... Persist in living. Get back up here and face me. Okay, I guess we... Hmm? Uh, coal pile, okay. Uh, nah. Uh, do we just... Nah. Okay, I guess we won't go to him. Mm, highly throwable piece of coal. Okay, I get the hint game. You whimper in simpleton. Hey, screw you. Ark. Let me guess, another cave. Ouch! Oh my! Now that's... Oh. Damn, I didn't expect that. Looks like Herman came up short. I'm sorry, sir. We found Herman's body. Well, half of it. But we couldn't recover the will. Wait, didn't we have the will? That's okay, Maurice. I have it right here. Oh, there we go. I I wondered if, if he... I wondered if we gave it to Herman before he died. But before I read the will, I want to say that I have really learned something here. What's that, Arthur? How to have a good time. Never mix your own drinks. Switzerland is bigger than it looks on the map. <laughs> Don't expect much from a video game made in two weeks. <laughs> well, I actually enjoyed this game. This this is a this this was a very fun and delightful advent ad adventure, and I'm still impressed that this was made in merely two weeks. So. Mm. Switzerland is bigger than it looks on the map. Geography expert now, are you? Try not to overthink it. Get on with it! Ah. The will reading. It reads as follows. I, Lady Underworld, being of sound mind and legal capacity, Leave my entire estate to Arthur Ack Ackerman. What? You poisonous goat. You turned her against us. I... Oh, great, another cave. What's going to happen? Who's going to die now? Oh, look. Another tunnel. Yes, I figured. Oh, I guess that's the end. 
Adam Rich's Story, Art and Sound, Joseph Rich's Story and Code, Angelo Cesci di Rosa Additional Art, Paul Zimmerman did the music, Moral Support, Amber Maya, with thanks to Dave Lloyd, Power Guest, made in two weeks for Adventure Jam 2020, I think. I think. Thank you for playing. And that was Robust Games uh, Locomotive, ladies and gents. And so, that was Locomotive from Robust Games. I don't have much else to say about the game since it was very short. I'm still impressed that this game was done in merely two weeks for a short game competition in some event last year in 2020, I think. I don't know what the event mentioned in the credits was about, but still, I'm impressed. I like the game's sense of humor and how it didn't shy away from what would normally be considered grotesque scenes with all the blood splattering, um, splattering around and, and at the end when Herman Merman lost his torso. The pixel art style is lovely, I like the vibrant colors used, and the music, what little there is, was delightful to listen to. And like I mentioned last time, I love trains, and I love the fact that we were, that we were on a moving train, and that was captured very, very well in the game with smooth animation. I was also pleasantly surprised by the twist. I did not see that coming. While I did think that the fact how Herman Merman didn't bleed like Lady Underworld did when he was quote-unquote killed was weird, but I also thought that the joke here was that Detective dies as well, even though they would normally be the one to solve the murder. But no, he turned out to be the murderer, and that was an unexpected twist. I like it when games uh, surprise me like that. The puzzles were simple yet creative, like the one where we had to use the deaf woman's ear horn as a goblet. I don't have much to criticize here, especially considering that the game is free to play, but one thing that I think we could have used is some sort of a to-do list where we could check the ingredients needed for a drink or something, because I forgot them occasionally. Not a huge deal, as there is not that many scenes or items to pick up and try to combine with others, but it would have been appreciated regardless. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the game. A delightful short adventure and very well made for a game done in only two weeks. And with that, I'm going to end this let's play here. So, thank you for watching my blind short playthrough of Locomotive and see you in a new adventure.